friends, welcome back to another vlog. I'm just starting my vlog in the middle of the day, at the end of the week, and no, at the end of the week, because it's Friday right now, which means it's the beginning of the weekend, and I'm in the car right now with my brother. Y'all know Fred. Um, okay. Anyway, we are on our way to Long Beach right now because he's has, he has a vegan event. Is the whole thing vegan or is it just like, what is this? Why is it vegan? You ask a lot of questions that you don't want the answers to. So it's not all vegan. Wait a minute. Why did I, why am I all vegan? Yeah, the camera is dying. Okay, so that last clip was a failure because my camera died and then we just had the event which wasn't really that successful because nobody came because nobody knows about fourth Fridays and then I don't know. Anyway, it's the next day. It's Saturday and it's almost 8 a.m. and I'm about to do yoga. While I'm doing this, you might notice that I got some oil around my eyes and that's because the eyelashes that I use, the Ardell individual lashes, were just like really annoying me because they would come off and then I would my, my eyelashes would just look extremely jank. And so I'm trying to take them off with all coconut oil. <laughs> I'm just like letting them soak on here, but it's like not coming off. And I don't want to pull off my eyelashes. So if this doesn't come off, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I might just like look gross for the rest of my life. I might just succumb and like wash off the coconut oil and then go to Target and buy new like a new pack because I just ran out of the eyelash pack so I might just get more. Do I want to do an, a whole hour yoga flow? Eh, why not? Arriving plant based. Okay. I'll see you guys in an hour. Oh, uh, I don't think the coconut oil thing is working so. <laughs> okay guys, I know my eyelashes just aren't doing it right now. It's okay. We can adjust that. We've addressed that. <laughs> They're not on fleek. Yoga was fun. There's just <laughs> sometimes I think about things and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna tell them when I vlog, and then I totally forget to. I always during yoga, I just my face just gets so tense. And then whenever she's like, relax your face, I literally feel every single muscle relax, and I'm like, wow. I can't believe that all of those muscles were held so tightly. Like you don't realize it when you're doing yoga, when you're doing a hard pose until you really breathe and you think about it. For example, when I'm stretching out a lot, a lot, or I'm in a position that is pushing me to my edge, I like really feel these muscles just tense up. And then I do a quick body scan. I'm like, wow, just relax everything. And that's how I feel when I go to sleep too. I realize that when I'm laying down, I'm trying so hard to keep my eyes closed. And then after a while, I'm like, why am I not asleep yet? I just go relax my face. And then I fall asleep. I just like relax all my muscles. So I guess what I'm trying to say is do a quick body scan right now. Just sit really quick. I'll do it with you guys. Okay, let me sit. Let's set it down. So if you're watching this, just sit down. Close your eyes. Just take a couple deep breaths. Like I can already feel the muscles in between my eyebrows. They're tight right now. They're not relaxed at my mouth area. Tight. And also my muscles are trying to keep my eyes closed. They're like pressing my eyelids closed. But let's just relax that. I also feel the muscles of my legs trying to keep my legs very perpendicular. So let's just relax that also. And breathe. You feel the muscles in your shoulders try to keep your like upper body up, but just relax that. Just like just let it go really quick, just for a couple breaths. Being aware of all of your inhales and exhales at this moment. Probably look really silly right now doing this. I've never done a mindfulness or yoga or like um, meditating thing on the vlog before. So hey, what's up? Anyway. I hope that brought you guys some insight as to like how tense you can keep your muscles subconsciously throughout the day. I think it's really interesting. Anyway, I am hungry, so let's go get some food. So just snacking on these frozen grapes while I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat. 
Also made myself a cup of this hazelnut coffee. And I'm going to put a couple drops of this better stevia drops in there. I just wanted to try out these stevia drops and they're actually pretty good. I don't like too much and honestly could just drink this black, but I do like the taste of the vanilla in there. So probably just do like one, two, maybe two drops is fine. Apparently a little bit goes a long way. And um, I saw someone else do it, so I kind of want to try it. But I'm going to stir in like a teaspoon of maca powder. Mm, is this a teaspoon? I don't know. This much, I guess, of maca powder into the coffee. Maca powder is an adaptogen. It's good for regulating stress hormones as well as hormone hormones. Oh, and it's good for energy. I really like the way maca powder tastes. It has this nice caramely taste. It's pretty good. With the vanilla and the hazelnut, because it's hazelnut coffee, this actually tastes really, really good. So I figured out what I wanted to make for breakfast. I stop looking at like my eyelashes. They look so funny right now, but you know what, you guys? This is real. This is unfiltered. This is just me in the morning. So I decided that I'm going to have some Ezekiel toast with this cinnamon maca almond butter from Gem Organics, which is actually one of my favorite almond butters because they're so... Oh, it's so good. If you guys haven't tried gem, you need to. Then I think I'm going to top it with some frozen berries and maybe some cacao nibs because life. It's mixed berries and the Ezekiel bread and cacao nibs and this amazing. I'm back in my room. I went to Target to get more of these because these won't come off. So now I'm trying to remove the any extra oil, I guess, that's on my eyelashes with these eco-friendly baby wipes that I got from iHerb. I really like these ones because it's like lavender and candelula, so there's no alcohol or parabens or any. Oh, this one came off actually. Ooh, look at this. Maybe it is coming off. Oh my gosh, what if I just like, nope. This is why you shouldn't do fake self-application eyelashes because they just don't look as good. So I'm going to apply these and then I have to meet my friend up at the gym because he is going to train me and I think I have interested him in veganism because he like asked a bunch of questions about it and then last week he watched Cowspiracy and then he kept asking more questions about it and I'm just going to th like honestly this is why I hang out with people it's not selfish but it's also <laughs> not like the best intentions I keep conversation open at the gym because I want people to ask me about veganism and I want to talk about veganism with everybody and anybody because what if I just interest someone in veganism and like veganism is my whole entire life you guys already know that it's like it's the only reason why I do things you know that's why I'm going to school that's why I'm putting myself through all this because I just want everybody to be vegan I know not everybody's gonna be vegan and blah 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 but I'm just hoping to at least change one person's life with veganism you know so I'm going to put these on and then um see you guys in a little bit when <laughs> I don't look like what's her name that girl from the Emperor's New Groove with like the crazy ass eyelashes comment below if you know it Okay, I think they look okay <laughs> Oh my gosh, see this is why I just don't do makeup I don't know if I'm gonna do this again because honestly I'm tired of getting my eyelashes pulled out SMH Amanda, but it's okay It's just like my life choices um, I'm off to go to the gym what I wear in a day. We're gonna do upper body today That's why I'm wearing my long sleeve because um, yeah, because <laughs> my muscles up here are very small. Okay, bye. I am getting trained by my friend Jay, who is like doing, again, like I said, we're doing upper body, and I asked him about like forearm strength, and helping with that, and so we're building forearms, because I really feel like I could lift heavier and like do more deadlifts and stuff if I had a stronger grip strength, but my grip strength is like non-existent. So, he's training me. Oh. My arms are burnt. All right, so I made this smoothie bowl for my post-workout slash lunch. I just wanted to show you guys. Okay, so that's the actual setup. Also, I'm still not matching my socks. This is the mess that goes on when I make my food because, I don't know, I'm just a mess sometimes. Do you want to say hi? Look, my brother got a cute haircut. So his hair looks significantly different from yesterday, if you haven't noticed. This is my first time actually making a smoothie bowl with this Vegan Smart, and it's really good. Well, actually, like this kind of smoothie bowl. I made a smoothie with it before, but 
Never made a smoothie bowl with that before. Fun fact, I actually did spill this. So maybe try not to do that when you're using wood slats. All right, so I finished my lunch and now I'm going to sit down here and do what I dedicated my day to. So I have this religion class that I've been taking this summer quarter along with my internship and I have to do a four page paper on it. So I'm just gonna sit down and try to knock it out right now because it's due tomorrow and um, procrastination nation. So yeah, this is my station. Just sitting at my little mini desk and I will check in with you guys to let you know that I'm procrastinating or that I have not made process or that I just don't want to, did I say process? That I have not made progress or that I just don't want to do it because honestly, I don't even know what I'm writing this paper on. Finished my paper and kind of want a little pick me up so I'm gonna have some of this matcha green tea by Panna Tea. It's like instant matcha so you just put it in water and mix it together and you can also have it with warm almond milk or warm any type of plant milk or hot water even to make a little latte but I'm just gonna mix it with water because I just want the matcha itself and I could just drink regular water but why not add some antioxidants All right, so I just finished filming a favorites video in which I talked for almost 40 minutes because sometimes I can't make up my mind about what I want to say or I say things and I'm like, wow, why did I go into so much detail? So I'm going to have fun editing that later. Anyway, I'm going to put away some laundry that's over there. It looks like it's dirty, but it's actually clean. I was just too lazy to take it out of there, and that's how I transport my stuff. And then, well, I'm going to clean up, then finish putting my laundry away, and then I'm going to take a shower, and then I'm going to make something to eat. All right, I know I said I would take a shower from when I went to the gym like 500 hours ago, but I realized that I was still doing some laundry, so I'm going to finish up that laundry and eat dinner in the meantime. So I have this huge bowl. And there's a lot of food in here actually. There's like a bunch of these grilled veggies and then I have some white rice, corn, black beans, chickpeas, tofu, coleslaw, guacamole, and I already said corn, but that's basically it. And then there's more here that didn't fit in the bowl. I took a shower and put my laundry away and actually with the help of my grandma because it's just me and her at my house and she didn't want to be downstairs by herself so she just came upstairs and helped me fold my laundry and I'm having some carrot juice and I'm gonna fold my bed sheets with that carrot juice it pretty much finishes everything that I'm eating today I guess it's kind of turned into like a what I eat in a day type of vlog thing I don't even know but the only reason why I wanted to show you everything that I'm eating is so I could tell you how many calories that I had because I've been using this app called Evolve. No, this is not sponsored. No, they didn't even reach out to collaborate with me or anything. I just wanted to use a different macro and calorie counter other than my fitness pal and I've seen Evolve on Brian Turner's channel and Christine Salas' channel and I really like the interface. It looks super awesome. You can't see it because it's so bright but it just looks a lot cleaner and it's just more aesthetically pleasing than my fitness pal. Everything about it just looks so much nicer and when you log stuff, you can either type it in or you can like scan the barcode. Oh, you can't even see anything. Hold on, let me see if I can show you. Okay, this is kind of better. So on the screen, you can kind of scan the barcode or you can type it in or you could tell the app like what you're eating. So if I say like one cup of oats, then it has one cup over here. Obviously, just like with any calorie and nutrient tracker, it's not gonna be 100% accurate to what you're eating, especially if, you know, you say salsa. Like, how do you know really what you put in there? Like, what if you put cilantro in there or one more tomato than normal in your salsa? It's gonna be totally different, but this is for me to, sorry, my backpack freaked me out because I thought it was just a person, but it, it's just a backpack. It's just a way for me to count my macros and calories because I haven't really been hitting the goals that I've been wanting to hit and mostly because with my internship and everything I've just been kind of stressed out so I haven't really had much time to focus. I kind of want to just buckle down so today I've had a total of, let me just tell you my totals, 2,500 calories, 117 grams of protein, didn't quite hit what I 
have as a goal 400 grams of carbs and 68 grams of fat because I love almond butter <laughs> probably ate more than 2500 because I just use this to count the important stuff but other things that I snack on throughout the day I don't really add because I just want to hit a minimum of this and anything over that I really don't mind or don't really care about counting I just want to make sure that I hit you know at least this much because we trying to grow over here and obviously what I've been doing lately aka trying to do it intuitively this hasn't been working just because intuitively I like to eat very clean types of foods and to my appetite and very water rich foods and that can be really easily translated into weight loss because the foods that I really enjoy to eat and the amount that I enjoy eating is pretty much weight loss foods and I like the idea of counting macros because I've had a bad relationship with calorie calorie counties <laughs> counting calories in the past so I uh, never really tried the whole macro thing, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. That is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and that you're having a wonderful morning, noon, day, or night wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Bye.